Jesus said, heaven and earth will pass away, but God's word is going to live forever. I don't mind having church out here outside. The churches may have closed down, but we are the church. We have a relationship with God, and you are the church. We're going to say a prayer for people here in Harlem Hospital, for those who are sick and afflicted in their body, that God can make cancer disappear. God healed my body when I was in Harlem Hospital. I supposed to be dead right here. At the age of eight years old, I was on the operation table. And Jesus healed my body. I know he is a healer. So we're going to say a prayer of faith for people right here in this hospital and those who are walking down the street. Father, in the name of Jesus, God, we bind the powers of darkness for those who are bound by the devil. Lord, set their mind free. Set their heart free. Set their spirit free, God. Somebody been bound by depression. Somebody been bound by drugs. Somebody been bound by witchcraft. We bind the demons of witchcraft in the name of Jesus. Somebody been bound by a generational curse. Woo! I feel Jesus. Even we praying for her right now. We praying for her right now as God even tucks you from the crowns of your head to the soles of your feet. God is touching you right now. Amen. I don't even have to even touch. God is already touching you. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. And we praying for everyone down the street. God loves you. I love you, Dad. God bless you, my sister. Thank you. Somebody get the living already right here in the hall. I feel Jesus. Hallelujah. I feel the presence of the Lord. God's angels are in the midst. That's driving evil spirits away from your house. That's driving demons away from your life. And God is touching your mind from the crowns of your head to the soles of your feet. Somebody been depressed. God can give you rest. Somebody may got molested when they was a girl. Somebody may have got sexually abused when you was a boy. And that's why you don't like yourself. But Jesus said, I come to set the captive free. We pray for those in the mental institution. For those who go out their minds. That God would set their minds free. But you don't have to kill yourself. Your life is worth living because Jesus loves you. And God wants you to love you. But you got to repent. Like I have to repent. What does the word repent means? It means to turn away from sin. We all have sin. I have sin. I probably made more mistakes than you did. Now I still make mistakes. But Jesus can wash away our sins with his blood because Jesus ha, is still the answer for the world today. The best hospital is with Jesus Christ. I believe God can raise the dead. I believe God can heal you from coronavirus, but you got to repent because the coronavirus is a sign of God's judgment according to Jeremiah chapter number 19 verse 8 because of the wickedness of the world. But there's still a hope. Hallelujah. There's still a hope and it's not dope. Jesus is a great hope and not dope. I feel the Holy Ghost. You don't need no dope. All you need is a great hope and that's Jesus Christ. And so Lord, I'm tired of living in sin. I'm tired, Lord, of being depressed. So I'm Lord, I'm tired of being out of my mind. I'm tired of being suicidal. We're living in a wicked world and a racist world. Donald Trump got dumped. Good. Donald Trump going to hell. He don't repent. Paula White going to hell along with Donald Trump. Paula White was trying to call angels from Africa to try to support Trump. First of all, Trump don't even like Africa. He's racist. Paula White going to hell too. She's, she's a false prophetess. She had her shoulder out, half naked to my sheer prophetess. And many of you Christians, there's more Christians going to hell more than sinners. Why? Because you're too blind to see that the leaders you're following are false. How in the world is she going to say she's a, a prophetess and supporting Trump? Knowing Trump is a devil and he's racist. Because Clint going to hell. God don't like racist folks. God said, love one another as Christ had loved you. He said, by this, all men will know you're my disciples. Uh, if you have love one for another, you can't be racist and think you're going to heaven. Here we got folk up in Paula White Church. And she's supporting Trump. And black folk, some of them dumb enough to support Paula White, knowing Trump is racist. He's going to fry in hell. God is sick of all this racist mess. What's wrong with being black? God doesn't hate black skin. He hates a black heart. Amen. If he makes you black, be proud of being black. Amen, right, brother? Right, God right. is sick of all this slavery. Bye, 
bind the demons of slavery in the name of Jesus. You're not going to be a slave. You're going to be free. I'm going to pronounce freedom upon your life. That the curse will be broken in the name of Jesus Christ. That's why God sent me here in Harlem. I was born right here in Harlem Hospital. I want to encourage you today that you're going to make it. He said, yea, you walk through the valley of the shadow of death. Fear no evil because God is with you. I don't put my faith in trust in leaders. I put my faith in trust in God. In God we trust. Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord Jesus. I pray for you today. Somebody been bound by depression. I'm praying that God will put joy and peace in your heart. You are somebody special. You are loved by God. When you say, Pastor Warren, I'm in the shelter. God can get you out the shelter. And say, in my father's house, huh, there are many mansions. Huh? You may be poor here on earth, but when you serve Jesus and get a relationship with God, we have treasures in heaven. God bless both of you, and God bless you today. You are special. You are loved by God. It don't matter whether you're poor or rich. God loves the poor like he loved the rich. But he said, bless are the poor in the spirit. For theirs is the kingdom of heaven. Bless are they that moan, for they shall be confident. God is concerned about the junkie on the street. Ready, false prophets on the world channel. Begging for your money. For a dollar, false prophet. All you want is your money. Joel Steve, false prophet. He support the Pope. The Pope promotes homosexuality. Now you know what God said about that. The Bible says abomination. Let's go to part two. The Bible says a man.